three, two, one, and start. All right, so I'll be doing a voiceover to explain the details of these exercises. So far, starting with the warm up of our arms. So focus from the shoulder down and to try to release the power from zero to a hundred suddenly. All right, rest for five seconds. Now grab something a little bit heavy that has weight. Here we're practicing how to deliver the power from the lower body to the upper body. So notice how I'm bending my knees and delivering the power forward. Very good job guys. Five second break. Now we're gonna move on to actually punching. So with the ball, we practiced how to get the weight up. Yeah, just like I'm doing in the video right now. Feel that flow of energy and punch. We're leveling up a little bit. Now we're gonna go one side and then to the front. So, pam pam. Snap your hip two times. Don't get flung by this rotation. Make sure you pull back your hikite very close to the body as well. Now we're gonna try the other side. Same thing again. One, two, yes. Another point to keep in mind is to get your knee very wiggly, I would say. So relax your lower body and make sure you connect it from the very first exercise that we've done. If you liked the video up to this point, I do online group lessons as well. So if you would like to learn karate with me and give you guys personal feedback, then please consider um, subscribing to my group lesson as well. Now applying it to the actual, you know, regular punch. Make sure you're rotating your hip smaller than the previous exercise, but still feeling that rotation. Next, we're going to step forward, half step and doing a oizuki. You don't have to put in that much power, just make sure that you're able to um, get the weight from the first position to the front, okay? Transfer that weight, half step. Now we're going to go full step and full power as well. Make sure you're able to push out with the back leg, okay? Don't step very loudly with the front leg. Push out with the back leg. Now we're gonna take a half step, gyakuzuki. Again, focus on the rotation and how you transfer the weight from the first position to the punching position. Now full length. Oh, that wasn't good. You guys might be tired by this point, but try your best. Kime every time. Now two more exercises, guys. Next is a kumite one. So we're gonna step forward and add a flick back. You can be relaxed more and um, have your punch closer to a kumite situation. Whew. Now doing gyakuzuki. Make sure you match the punch with the rotation of your hips. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one and over. Woo. Well, that was so much harder than I expected. Uh, make sure that although it's a fast paced exercise, do every single one with a lot of tension, okay? Make sure you pay attention to little, little techniques there so you don't just do it for the speed. Uh, if you liked the video, please like it and subscribe to my channel from up here. And also, if you'd like me to look at your kata and kumite personally, then please consider subscribing, subscribing to my online group lesson from here. And check out these two videos as well for the workouts. See you guys next time.